Welcome back to RBR guys and rejoice because this, the brand new CLE 53 is a six cylinder AMG. Look at that. What an absolutely stunning successor to our C Coupe C63. Certainly C4, forget C43 because this is the full fat AMG body in your entry level. So whenever they do a 63 performance, you will get this wide body. And it's not just wide on the front, it's also wide on the rear. It is gorgeous. It's really, really nice. So let's first have a look around this, okay? Before we talk about the technical bits, because you should be absolutely thrilled to hear that there is a six cylinder sitting under this beautifully sculpted hood. Let's first have a closer look around the car. So come and join me down here and let's oogle at it together. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, it really is nice. It's finished in Magna Graphite Grey, typical AMG color. Now, our front end is wider, okay? By around about 58-ish millimeters or something. It's similar to how you'd grow the front end of an E63 or a C63 in the past. And it looks fantastic. All of this is unique. Look at that lovely, lovely shoulder. Um, of course, you've got the bonnet. Come and have a look at this bonnet, it's gorgeous. You've got the power domes, typical AMG, and you've got that air outlet like you've, we first found in the C63, but it's nice that we've got it in a different car now as well. Of course, you've got the AMG badge here, the AMG Panamericana grille. The front end's really nice, isn't it? I can see the active aero flaps hiding behind there and there, so we've got some good aerodynamics. This is all lovely. We've got the styling package, which is what they used to call aero pack, you guys remember? The aerodynamics isn't really the key thing here, it's more about styling, so you've got this additional flick. This is slightly larger, and I'll show you the other bits on the side, but that is a really intimidating front end. I mean, you think comparing this, forget M440i, think comparing that to an M4, and it's gonna knock socks off it, isn't it? So that's really, really pretty. But normally in your entry-level cars, you don't get the wider front. Forget about the wider rear. So this is really, really good in that regard. And we come around the side, and the story gets even better. You notice this straight away. It's that vent that you find in the new AMG GT, and it looks amazing on this. I'm so glad that they didn't hold back when designing this car. It just looks great. Got turbo formatic here, and compared to the standard CLE, we've got a massive side sill that we had in our C63S Coupe as well. So that, again, the side view of this car is just absolutely mega. Come around to the rear, and there's no part of this car that doesn't look good. Your styling package gives you larger aero wing on the back. Um, again, larger diffuser at the bottom, but generally, look at that, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Aero flick on the side here. Round pipes, of course, because this is the 53. And then you can, you can actually get all of this de further in AMG Night Package 2 as well. And it looks great with the light. I'm used to this light now with the CLE. I think it looks really good connected because the GT has it as well. Then you look the dead on rear. Can you see those arches? I'll show you a view from high up. They're massive, they look great. This is, this is proper full fat AMG body like they started doing from the GLC. GLC 43 and GLC 63 sharing the same body. Very smart by AMG because most of us, if the 63 is that full cylinder thing, will probably prefer this. And then we've got the full AMG styling, like no holds barred, which is great. So this is a stunning car. This is a great start, isn't it? To the CLE AMG story. These are nice, um, as we found in the past in the EQ cars, uh, this particular aero design, but they're much, much deeper in CLE. You can see them kind of go in. I'll tell you about the red calipers in a minute, how you get that on these cars. Um, you can see that even more on the back actually, because it's really quite, the inset amount is really exaggerated here. The other great thing is, check this out, more and more AMGs now coming on Pilot Sport S5, as we found in the new AMG GT as well. Really good performance tire, building on the awesome 4Ss, so really nice to see on here. Now, let's have a quick look inside, where it's the same again. No holes barred on the AMG store. Oh no. Oh, Jamie, you left your exhaust on or else RBR merch shirt here with, oh, it's even, it's got the same pipes as the CLE. You shouldn't leave your things lying around. Guys, link is in the description below, okay? Shameless plug. Anyway, yes, interior. Exactly as you'd find in the 63s. Here we've got the performance seats, which look fantastic, with the night package on the AMG logo on the top. You've got the little tickle holes as well. 
proper AMG steering wheel, all that stuff that you're used to from your full fat AMGs. So the interior is really nice. It's exactly as you'd find in your full fat AMGs. You've got your AMG specific dials here. I'll talk about race mode, how you get that in this car later. You've got the screen that slightly tilts towards you. Lots of carbon fiber in there. The new seats, they're lovely. And we've got more space than we used to have in the past. The lovely trimmed rear. That's a really, really nice trim in the rear, isn't it? As I find when I drove the 450 CLE, this is such a nice place to sit. It's a proper, proper upgrade on the 205 Coupe from the C-Class. And, you know, to be fair, it's a lot more sporty than what you used to have in the E53 as well. Uh, lovely dynamic a steering wheel. Again, I'll tell you how to get that later. There's a package that you can order. The screens, you've got the usual different uh, host of screens in there. Track Pace, Super Sport, Classic, Sport, etc. And, of course, you've got your AMG screens in here in terms of performance, IWC is great engine vehicle loads of readout data and of course track pace for 0 to 60 times etc etc it's a really nice interior just as you would expect in a full fat amg so that is great that's a great start stunning looking car obviously it's got six cylinders we need to talk about what's under the skin as well design they've nailed it is this going to be a great daily based on the power etc let's have a bit of a technical deep dive and we'll compare it to some of the older cars as well Today's episode is sponsored by The Ridge, my favorite wallet company, who have come out with one of my favorite colors, which is the color of our channel, and that's Hyper Lime in this awesome new Hyper Lime collection. I'm so excited about this because this is literally the RBR channel colors. Look at this. It's the same beautiful aluminum wallet, but powder coated in this amazing Hyper Lime color, which I think is so synonymous with performance as well, which is why we used it at RBR, to be fair. And just like your normal Ridge wallet, you can fit up to 12 cards in a really slim way. It's got RFID blocking technology so no one can steal your money. It comes with replaceable screws and elastic, and it has a lifetime warranty as well. I've used them for years now, as you guys know, they're kind of my go-to. This is the leather one that I have. Hyperlime even comes in the amazing key case as well, which again, the same content, fitting a large number of keys in a small unit to keep things nice and compact. We've got the awesome Bolt Action Pen, which is so satisfying to use. And again, that's finished in the Hyperlime. And this lovely bottle as well. Again, all a really nice collection. And finally, I'm gonna wear this so you guys can amuse yourselves. There you go. What a tool I am. And if that's a little out there for you, they've just started this amazing new pastel color range as well, which is a little bit more subtle and could be a nice gift as well. Now, of course, as an RBR view, you get a great deal. Use my link, ridge.com forward slash RBR, and you will get up to 30% off till December 20th. And if you use my link and enter your SMS or email, you will be in for the chance to win $4,000 worth of a Ridge bundle with no purchase necessary. Absolutely love it. Now, back to the episode. So that is a stunning, stunning looking car. And the fact that it's a six cylinder just makes it so much better. And it's probably no surprise to you guys that this is a six cylinder if you watch RBR, because obviously we predicted that. And we also predicted that this entry level model would have the same wide body as the probably upcoming 63 performance that nobody's mentioned, but we all know it's coming as the worst kept secret in the world. What is interesting is when you actually compare this then directly to the standard CLE, and then you see just how much AMG have added. Like I showed you in the walk around, just the, just the addition of the side sills by themselves, forgetting even the wide body makes such a difference, but then the wide body, you know, 50 odd millimeters on the front, 75 on the rear, just like our C63F coupe of the past, it probably, properly links to that car, doesn't it? Uh, and it's nice that we have it in the same color as well. Uh, I think it looks absolutely brilliant. And the other thing that I think this is going to do is really bloody the nose of the competition. You compare this to the 440i, which is its direct rival, it looks like a level below, significantly below. AMG, very, very smart here, giving this car the full-bodied AMG treatment. You even compare it to the M4, which I don't mind the look of the M4. I know a lot of you guys hate it, but this literally kicks it in the nads very hard, like with steel boots. This thing's gorgeous. So there's absolutely no doubt about the design. I love it. Absolutely love it. Um, we need to now talk about the technical bits under the hood, which are great. It's a good start. We've got a new six cylinder. This is an upgraded version of what we had in the past. So this is the M256M. So this is our new engine and it's been 
upgraded quite a bit from the previous one in the 52s. It is the same block, but they've upgraded bits and pieces in it. It's now got more power, 20 HP more at 450. And that's thanks to a number of things that they've upgraded. The main one being a larger turbocharger in here, but we've also got like updated piston rings, uh, better injection. In addition to that, we've got this additional electric compressor that basically gives us more torque and it's available more of the time. So that mid range is going to be a lot more punchy than it used to be. And that's continuous torque of 560 or like an over boost of 600 for 12 seconds. And then as you remember, if you've seen my other 53 videos, they always have this integrated starter generator, which is like a little electric motor that sits in between the gearbox and the engine. Now it's integrated into the bell housing of our transmission. Um, so apparently it's even more uh, reactive in that way. What's interesting though is previously it gave 23 odd horsepower and 250 newton meters. Now it gives the same horsepower, but apparently 205. And nobody can tell me why. I don't know if it's a typo in the press release. I don't know if it's been reduced from the old cars. I have absolutely no answer for you today. Um, I'm gonna wait to hear on that and I'll probably fill you in on the next video. Either way, we've got a significant boost in uh, torque, certainly for a limited amount of time, and a little bit of horsepower to get you going. So fairly similar to the previous 53. Overall then, we have 450 horsepower. 600 newton meters on the overboost and a 0 to 60 quoted of 4.2 seconds sounds a bit sluggish i would have liked a bit more power out of this i think they should have aimed up to the old c63 and up to m4 i think that would have been nice 500 brake horsepower i would have been very happy i don't know whether they might plan like a cle 53 hybrid with an actual battery like they've done in the gle which would take it up to 550 brake obviously adding weight but be more powerful that could happen i don't know no one said anything to me i'm just hypothesizing with you but it's okay it is entry level thus and the other thing that is entry level is the gearbox where we've got the nine speed tct this is a torque converter gearbox so it's a more comfortable application of amg's gearboxes it's not the multi-clutch that we've had uh, with the wet starter clutch in the past in all of our 63s and in fact i believe the c43 has that as well which is interesting um, yeah, that, that, that was a strange one. Then we have Formatic Plus all wheel drive, which is fully variable. So most of the time it's like 100% to the rear wheels, up to 50% to the front. This is great and especially great versus the C43, which still has the completely standard Formatic and it still matches the E53 of the past and all your 63 MGs, it matches those. So that's absolutely great. Steel high performance brakes come as standard. I'll explain how you get the red calipers later. And of course, Another great thing from our AMG's higher up is AMG's active ride control suspension with adaptive damping at each wheel. We've also got a load of stabilizer bars, like we've got a massive one across the engine, your struts, you've got your aluminum shearing panel, etc. All like we found on the C43 to make this more rigid than your standard CLE. And then in addition to that, we've got AMG speed sensitive steering, which we found to be absolutely fantastic in every car that we've ever tested. We have got, of course, a performance exhaust system. We cannot turn on the car today, sadly, because it is a pre-production model. But if it sounds anything like that CLE 450 did, the standard car, then we are on to a winner. And of course, every 53 we've driven has always sounded really good. So all in all, we've got a really good package here. We've got a great engine, Formatic Plus, yeah, comfortable gearbox, but all the stiffening, everything else that's been done should make this a really good daily car. Now there's one way to make it an even better daily car and this is a package that they're giving called the AMG Dynamics Pack. We've seen it so many times now over the years starting with the last 53s. That's what first of all gives you the red calipers which is great but it goes beyond that. We also get active engine mounts which you find in the 63s usually in the V8s. You get race mode enabled within the car as well which is great and race mode also gives you drift mode in this and then you also get the Dynamica steering wheel as we showed you earlier. Beyond this C60, sorry, CLE 63 will probably come, probably e-performance, probably four cylinder hybrid thing from the C63. Um, we all know what our feelings are on that element. It will have a load of horsepower. And if the GLC was anything to go by, it will sound a little bit better than the C63 did. So we're talking 680 brake, you know, over 900 Newton meters, etc. How much does that tickle your fancy versus a less powerful six cylinder? I probably know the answer to that, but I'm only guessing this at the moment. I don't know what's going to happen in the future. So guys, that is 
your new CLE 53, six cylinders of wide bodied AMG scrumptiousness. I absolutely love it. I, I can't wait to drive it having driven the CLE 450 and had so much fun in that. This has got to be a level like above. I can imagine it being a really, really great AMG daily. I hope it sounds great. I have high expectations of that. It looks incredible. I think it, it's probably the best looking two door coupe of this segment that they've ever made. It's that good, I think. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this episode of RBR, as always, please do like and subscribe. It is most appreciated. And I'll see you guys next time.